pieces! What's happening with you, baby? Right now, I'm heading back to New York because you guys gave so much love when I was in New York for the worst pizza restaurant in New York City. And I was like, I gotta get back to New York because that's where it's popping right now. But what can I do? And then it came to me, Dane, the biggest thing in New York right now for the boroughs, who got the best chopped cheese? So I'm about to slide over to East Harlem to a spot that used to be called Haji's, but now it's Blue Sky Deli Group. Cause apparently they got the best chopped cheese in New York City. All right, y'all, I'm in the spot right now. We're doing the chopped cheese with onions. No lettuce, no tomato. And I think that's it, right? What do, we do? do I need anything in particular? Yeah, put some ketchup on that, Joe. No mayonnaise? Yeah, throw, throw some mayonnaise on there, too. Yeah, yeah. Gotta get my official chopped cheese going on. Look at that, look at that chopped cheese right there, boy. Uh, mayo and ketchup, onions all up in the building right there. Oh, it's about to go down. <laughs> my man, my man. Whew. Ah, my New York people, a bung bung. Y'all know they, when you see the black bag in New York, you know what it is. You know you done hit up that bodega spot for that official whistle, you know what I mean? So again, we're sliding up over here. Blah. Thomas Jefferson Park. All right, y'all, y'all know what it is, man. Let's go ahead and bust this thing up off the bag, something proper. Little drinky pool right there. I get down with that Snapple Apple action, half and half. That's my juke joint when I'm not doing water for show. But let's get right to this chopped cheese, man. That's what I'm here for. I don't want to make y'all wait any longer. Now, I had a little walk up over here to Thomas Jefferson's Park. You know what I'm saying? Thomas Jefferson Park, I had a little walkie walk, but that gave this thing enough time to melt properly. Oh my goodness. Oh, you already know that bread got wild, dumb crisp to it. Little sesame seed action on that John right there. Let's go ahead. I already know. Ooh, ooh, that's the, ooh, oh, this is that freshy hearty. This is that softy hearty, freshy hearty joint right here, baby. Oh, look at it. Look at it. It almost looks like the perfect burger, don't it? Without the actual patty, but chopped up beef. Oh, let's go. Rock with your boy. Don't stop with your boy. It was so easy when we met. guys understand are the flavors that are kicking up up off this chopped cheese now right here in the breast the bread thin not too much dough on that right there so you're just, I'm getting pure soft freshness with a light crisp right here on the exterior and it's a crunchy bite but then right after that you're getting straight into the cheese you're getting straight into the seasoned up beef and for the simple fact alone that that ketchup and that mayo was working together hand in hand to bring you utter perfection. Sheer perfection. I want you to go ahead and get a bite of delight. Now, you might not want to get down with the ketchup. You might not want to get down with the mayo. And I promise you, even if you go straight onion on this, onion and cheese and meat, and that's it, that bite is going to blow your mind. It's going to take you to the next level of the food game. Something proper. Oh, the onion and that meat game lighting me on fire like mini slider burgers and a whole bunch of them. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. And the bread is so fresh, y'all. Mm. Mm. Philly got the cheese steaks and New York got the chopped cheese. Oh, smash. Mm. East Harlem, what up though? Mm. Uh, 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 uh. Alright y'all, so we are now leaving Harlem, heading to the Bronx. Sliding over to Harlem, that's where the chopped cheese originated, but sliding over to the Bronx, the Bronx say they have perfected what Harlem originated and they got it on smash. So let's go over to the Bronx to a spot called Tasty Picks and see 
if they really truly perfected the chopped cheese or does the original location still hold the crown? All right, uh, so we slide over to Van Cortland Park, which it's a little bit closer than the uh, Thomas Jefferson Park when we grabbed the first chopped cheese. So we're gonna slide up over here, make it do what it do, you know what I'm saying? I think I have regular seats over here. I don't see any tables. So, oh no, I do I see some tables down there. So we're gonna sit down and get comfortable and bang up this chopped cheese here in the Bronx. Let's go. Uh, we're just gonna need to let this train do its thing thing so we can actually begin our food review up over here. Yep. Shout out to the Bronx. What up, dog? What up, what up, what up, what up? All right, bang. <laughs> Let's get into it, baby. Now, when I was over there in uh, East Harlem, my two bags of chips, my drink, and my chopped cheese, it uh, came to $10. <clears throat> and over here in the Bronx, without my chips, it came to $8. So we can pretty much say it's, it's they're close. They're, they're, they're close as far as the price point. However, this chopped cheese, not in our fine paper wrap, but our foil wrap, now, those of you know, when you wrap anything in foil, it's holding the heat even better. So I'm not gonna stunt. That right there is already a win in my book. Shout out to the Bronx for wrapping the joint in foil, letting that cheese really melt proper. This chopped cheese situation though, all right, with the plane overhead, what are y'all thinking? Does it look very much similar to the chopped cheese in East Harlem or does it look better? Let's open it up. Let's get a, let's get a full look. Oh. Let's open her up, open up, open up for your boy. Open up for your boy. Oh, this thing is heated. Onions looking proper, cheese looking tight. Mayo game and ketchup game, I, I kept it the same. It's not like I left anything off. Everything that I got in Harlem, I got over here in the Bronx, all right? So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Your boy over here with the little sweats. Let's talk about it. Now, of course, our hero on this particular episode isn't as crisp, and that, that's only because this, this is actually on a full soft hero bun where as in we were in Harlem, we had that crispy soft where our exterior was light, thin crispiness on their bread with that soft interior. This is actually soft all around, which ah, I like the crispiness better. I'm not gonna even stunt. That really comes down to preference though, because it still tastes fresh. However, the meat isn't as seasoned as it was on our other one over there in East Harlem. This is just okay, it's being held by the cheese is being held by the onion, but even the onion isn't potent enough to come through as this train is coming through. Word. Word, this is what we doing? This is how we live in my dude? I'm not ecstatic, y'all, I'm not. I, 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 won't, I won't lie, it's decent, but if I had to rate them right here and now, I'm definitely going with East Harlem, the originator, the original, saying that Harlem does it better than the Bronx when it comes to the job fees. Again, it comes down to personal preference. I'm not from New York. I'm coming out from Connecticut, and that's just how I feel. I like the crispiness on the Harlem bite. I like the flavor of the meat game, something proper. The onions, they, they, they kick through. They provide nice contrast, the flavor. Salted up, peppered up proper. This one right here is, is the bland Sandman, yo. It's the bland Sandman. Overall, just not a program I can get down with. So East Harlem, you getting that five all day from me. And the Bronx, you're going to get that three and a half nice attempt on the chopped cheese but please in the comment section below y'all let me know your thoughts between the east harlem spot where we had our blue sky deli group the original spot what you think of that one and then also let me know what you think of uh, tasty picks out here in the bronx when it comes to the chopped cheese game all right keep it crispy baby